more ancient history jewelry stories. And this time we're going back to ancient Egypt and we go even further back. We're going to talk about the 25th century BC, a queen named Hetaferes. I hate to talk about this woman in the context of the men in her life. Unfortunately, that is what we know about her. <laughs> it's where we're going to go. Mother of a pharaoh named Khufu, most famous for building the largest pyramid at the Giza Plateau. She was the grandmother of Khafre, who built another of those pyramids. She's responsible for some of the greatest wonders of the world. We're not here to talk about that specifically. We're here to talk about her jewelry and how it helped researchers discover which trade routes were active during the 25th century BC. Her tomb was found in 1925. When they opened it, they found these beautiful silver bracelets made out of silver with inlaid gems forming the shapes of butterflies. I mentioned in my first video, there was no silver ore in Egypt. There was gold ore, there was no silver ore. Researchers were able to analyze the silver in these bracelets and found that the ore was coming from ancient Greece. They were able to trace the source of the ore back to the Cycladius Islands and a little town in southern Greece called Lavrion. Determined that the silver was able to make its way to ancient Egypt by coming in through modern day Lebanon in what would have been the ancient port of Byblos. Beautiful silver bracelets found in a queen's tomb helped researchers establish a trade route that they didn't know existed as far back as the 25th century BC.